Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Yeah, hello there and welcome back. And let us continue with our lesson over here. And this is the uh, Flutter clean architecture with the Riverport uh, project over here. We will be building a Flutter application using the clean architecture with the Flutter Riverport over here and this is not a beginner course so if you are a complete beginner or if you are not uh, familiar with the flutter as well as the river part over here then this course is not for you so this is really not a beginner friendly course and if you want to learn some basic concept make sure to go and check out my other courses over here and you should be good to go with that one but for this particular course, it is required to have some Flutter development experience, maybe a six months, one year, or even more than that would be good. And also the um, the river pod or the knowledge of the river pod is required. And if you are not sure about how to use the Flutter river pod, make sure to go and check out my course on that one. I have a full course regarding the Flutter river pod as well. And um, that's just the um, thing that you have to know about this. That is the pre-request for this particular course. So let us get started and welcome to the Flutter Clean Architecture course with the Flutter River Pod. So let's meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Let us continue with our lesson over here. And in this particular lesson, let's just go and create, first of all, our state over here. We'll go to the presentation and in the presentation, let's just go and create the new folder. Let's call this one as a state over here and let's create the new file that will be of the sign up uh, underscore the state or the dot file over here. And let's create the freeze class over here, FRC. And uh, this is the code snippet that we can use. Sign up state over here. And I need to import the first thing is the flutter. Uh, uh, let's import the and the freeze annotation okay so that's cool so let's just go and remove this one and uh, here we are going to have some of the sign up model which can be of the enable type and we will add the loading state over here um, okay so let's just add a sign up success which is of the type each of the bool and the default value each of the false over here and uh, then the um, the default loading state will set it as the false as well and then then the each error i guess we'll just go and set the type each of the string and then the nullable type each of the error over here so later we can add in the error message over there so it's loading and then uh, it's sign up success and we have the sign up model over here and once we have this what we'll do is we'll just go and generate the uh, build runner or let's just go and okay so sorry for that i need to actually add the uh, the part file over here sorry for that before running the creating the part file i actually run that particular code and now let's just go and rerun that one so it should actually go and now generate the freezed file first so let's wait for that one to complete so now we can see that we got that particular file the next step will be to work with our uh, controller so let's just go and create the controller or you can also call this one as a view model depending on your requirement but i would like to prefer it to call as a controller over here 
so from where we'll be maintaining all of our state over here and i'll just call this one as the sign underscore up and then the controller c o n t r o l l e a controller dot the dot one or sign up view model we can also call that and let's create the class and this will be of the uh, sign up controller and this is the sign up controller and what we need to do is we need to uh, extend from the I'll just make use of the notifier from the flutter river pod and uh, I'll just go and import the sign up state that we just created let's import that and what I will do is I'll just go and have the override the one missing build method and from here I need to just go and return our sign up state that should be good enough the default state that we are going to return once we construct this particular um, the controller and I think I will make use of the auto dispose over here so we just want to go and auto dispose this particular notifier and I'll just go and create the uh, provider over here so final uh, I guess we have the provider over here which is of the notifier provider so I'll just go and generate the code snippet over here sign up controller provider and uh, this will be of the I need to provide the sign up controller as the uh, the type over here and the next type will be of the state and this is what we need to generate or construct a new one and uh, this should be also the auto dispose over here since our the sign up controller is a auto dispose notifier over here now we have the controller as well and uh, let's just go and create the future of this is not going to return anything and this will be of the sign up over here and the sign up uh, we are going to call the uh, final RESL to result and let's just go and make this one as the asynchronous call over here result will be of equals to the uh, ref dot the uh, we just want to call the method so ref dot the read and provider will be of the sign up uh, service that we have sign up service uh, provider and then the sign up over here and we need to provide actually the the data right so we need to provide the sign up request over here and uh, I guess uh, let's just go for now and let's just go and generate the sign up state and uh, I guess I'll add a one more state to our um, okay so let's just go and uh, clear it out this one for, for now and uh, what I have the uh, a result that we have over here this is of the result that we are getting which is of the future so I need to actually go and await this one and now you will see that we got the sign up model over here and uh, here I'll also have to go and actually make use of the try catch block over here so let's just go and say this is of the try catch uh, later we will come back over here again and we will try to refactor this uh, okay so what I have done over here it's okay so it should be of the final actually and I can remove this and on the catch part i'm just going to uh, update the state copy the error and error will be of the error dot to string so let's just go and update that one and also we need to update some other uh, state which will be of the uh, each loading or uh, to be of the false right so now we will set this one and each sign of success will be also of the false over here and uh, here we will just go and say that the state that we have state dot copy dot and we'll just go and say is loading to be false is sign of success is true 
and a sign up model then we got that and this one should be result dot the each sign of success we will update it from here as well and we need to provide one uh, the prompts over here and we haven't set that one up uh, we'll uh, set up that and i guess that should be the one that we need and i guess uh, let's go back to our state and uh, what i will do over here each loading each sign of success i'll just make this one as the null label type for now i guess that should be much more better instead of having the default value i'll just go and set this one and also i'll just go and set the uh, map and string of dynamic and this will be of the sign up form all right so let's just have a sign up form or the form data whatever you want to give a name and uh, then i'll just go and say the default value for this one so uh, add the uh, dfa default default value i'll just go and provide the uh, empty map value over here and now let's just go and try to uh, rebuild this one and that should be good so once it is generating let's go back over here and now the sign up i'll just go and set the default to be of the null value over here as well and uh, once we call this particular function uh, i want to update the state over here so the loading state will be of the true and then the error will be of the null and uh, is sign up success will be also of the null so the once we call this particular um, the sign up method it's going to trigger this state change which is going to change the state to be loading is the true so we can show some progress indicator or loading bar error should be of the null and a sign of success should be of the null at once we call this particular function and uh, then we are going to call the um the sign up method and once we receive that once this there was success then we are going to update the loading state to be false and uh, then the sign of success to be of the uh, the value that we are getting and also the sign up model will be of the result and if there is an error then we are going to also update our state which is the loading should be of the false and uh, then the sign of success will be of the now and there the error value that we are going to set up over here and um, i guess that should be all and uh, what we need to do is we just have to provide one value currently we haven't set up the form in our ui uh, we need to actually go and set the form in the ui and then pass the value uh, to our state that we just created we will be using this particular sign up form or else what we can do over here since we have the um, the map value over here um, let's go and extract that one actually so let's just go and say the final and then this will be of the uh, data and now uh, i need to sign up from here just let's just go and import the sign up uh, request over here and uh, okay so parameters so i need to also pass in the confirm I guess it has the confirm password as well so let's just go and say password and if i go back to the sign up request over here it has the password confirm not the confirm password password confirm as well and uh, let's just go and set this one up from the state that the sign up form and then we'll extract that one so uh, here we need to pass in that particular data or i'll just call this one as the form data over here or the sign up data or whatever you want to call that one i'll just go and pass that one over here so the state dot the sign up form which is of the type of the map and we will extract that particular value using the key name email password and then the confirm password that is what we need to pass in as a request over here so name email password and then the confirm password so that should be good enough so we just need to fill in this particular form uh, the sign up form uh, from our ui so 
I guess that's all that we have to do over here in the controller to go and sign up the user and the um, the next step will be to work with our UI so I'll give you as a homework to create the sign up form over here and I hope you can do that one so just create the sign up form and try to update the state which is of the sign up form data once the uh, user fill in the sign up form and uh, we will meet up in the next one and uh, till then have a great day